The Toolbar Editor. Beaver Artists comes with a toolbar editor with customizable toolbars, at least to some degree. It's about this toolbar here at the top with all the buttons at it. It has its limits, I will show you some, but the toolbar is nevertheless a real time saver, for example when you want to load and save object files. The normal way would go across the file menu, this is one click, search, search, two clicks, search, search, oh, where is object, here it is, and we are finally at the load dialog. With our toolbar it is one click and no big search. And that's just one of many possible tools where you can save a ton of clicks. I think best is to close this toolbar completely and start from scratch so that you can see what it is about. So let's close this editor away. We go at this triangle area here and pull down and these two regions will merge. Let's pull this a bit down and again at the triangle but this time we pull upwards and we get another editor type here. Here at the left you can see a new menu appearing. It is the editor type menu. In this menu choose toolbar. This is our editor, our toolbar editor. Here you can see a type menu. Here you can define the toolbar container. Let's choose file here. Let's create a few more. Let's say we choose primitives and tools. The toolbar tools is currently empty. That's because there is no data in the 3D view. Let's create one. Let's create a cube. And you will see this these, uh, toolbar here fills up. It is mode and object dependent. Now let's create a second toolbar. Again, we choose a type, let's say animation. And as you can see, the type is independent. Let's have a look at these menu here. As you can see, I have currently mesh and other ticked. Let's create the mesh, the primitives here too. And as you can see, it has the same content as here. This here is global, it is not independent. This is something that you have to take into account when you set up your toolbars. There is a second place where you can find the checkboxes here. It is in the user preferences in an add-on called Toolbar Settings B for Artists. Here you have the same checkboxes like here, but all of them at once. And this is also the place where the settings are stored. Okay, we have here primitives, primitives here. When you tick here, then the curves appears too in the toolbar. When you want to store the changes, then you have to save user settings in the user preferences. Oh, and never deactivate this add-on here. Here is where the values are stored for our toolbar. And when this add-on is gone, then the toolbar doesn't work anymore. That for these technical limits. Another limit is the type of toolbars that can be placed in the toolbar editor at all. Lots of tools in B4 Artists depends on the editor window where you perform the operation. Good example here is to switch views. We have here an example that works global. But this is already a compromise. Let me show you what I mean. When I click the local buttons, then just this view changes. When I do this, here, then all views changes. And there are really lots of tools that you cannot place here because they just work in its view. Okay, we are not done yet. Let's clean a bit up here. At the moment there are too many menus visible besides the actual toolbars. This is something that can be hidden away. 
Right-click at the toolbar and choose Collapse Menus. Then these menus here, Collapses, they are still available, but they are not longer in the way. What we can also hide away is the Editor Type menu. This is just required when you work, when you redo the layout. Collapse menus here too. And again, you have to save the user preferences to save the state. The state of collapsed and hidden editor is something that you have to save separately with the startup file. It is not stored in the user preferences. So you have to save both things here. There is one last issue left. There is this neat bug that Beaver Artist has inherited from Blender. Close the toolbar at the top so that there is really no area visible here anymore. Now go windowed, drag it small, and drag it up again. And as you can see, this area here opens up. This is, as told, a Blender bug. There is unfortunately nothing that can be done here. Sorry.